Hey, welcome back. And today we are going to be putting together our Bible study and prayer binders. I personally love putting together Bible study and prayer binders because it helps me to stay focused and it helps me to keep my notes all in one place. So if you're like me and you like putting together Bible study and prayer binders and you're ready to put together your first one or a new one or you're starting a new one because your other one is packed with good juicy notes, then join me and we can put ours together together. All right, let's go. Right, so first step is to collect all of your materials. As you can see, all of my materials are sprawled out across my dining room table. Um, I'm not the most organized when it starts, but it looks really nice when it's all finished. And I do use the Faith Mama's um, Bible study packs for my Bible study section. Um, so I will be putting those in and preloading the three that I have now. All right, so here we go. Let's get started. Right, first step is I want to make this my cover. I designed it online using Canva. Um, and so I wanna go ahead and slide it into my front cover. All right, next I am going to start working on my dividers. I got some really cool dividers that I'm excited to use that have all these really neat patterns. Um, I did splurge a little on these because I am so excited to put them in my binder, woo! Usually I get the regular dividers, but this time I just wanted to try something new. So let's see how it turns out. So these dividers came with stickers um, to put on the tabs. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start writing my different tabs. So the different sections that I have are prayer. Also, I do a section for gratitude. I have a section for Bible study. So then I have another section and it is going to be words from God. And in this section, this is just where I'm going to keep just some things that God has said to me over the years or over the, the day, or I just want to keep it all in one spot. So this is what I'm keeping in there. So we've got prayer, we've got gratitude, We've got Bible study and we've got words from God. All right, so those are my sections so far. That's what I like to keep in my binder. Um, and then sometimes I just like a spot for just notes, um, just in case I have some additional things like sermon notes or something I've listened to. I keep that too. Um, usually that's in the back, just in case. All right, so now all my stickers are on and it's time to put these into my binder. So now they're my binder and I'm going to go ahead and put in the components. So in my prayer, gratitude and words from God section, as well as my notes section, I am just going to put some loose leaf paper. All right. So now my notebook paper is in all my sections and now it's time for my favorite setup, which is my Bible study section. Woo, woo, woo. I'm excited because uh, again, I use the Faith Mama's templates and it makes this section really cool. Uh, I also use other things as well, sometimes for my Bible study. Um, and so I get to put it all in here and I'll show you the way that I typically set it up. All right, so now we're at the Bible study portion. So I'm gonna start with the First Thessalonians study by Faith Mamas or, that I actually wrote. And I like to take notes in them because I like to go back and do the study with everybody else during um, Mornings with Jesus. So I like to have it in my binder so that I can take notes on all the other juicy goodness that other people share and that I learn from everybody that comes to Mornings with Jesus. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to not hole punch this first page because I want to slide it into a... Um, one of these paper cover things <laughs> and I'm going to hole punch the rest of it. So I'll show you what it's going to look like. So once I put slide this in and then I hole punch the rest of these, I'm going to put it in the section of my binder and then I'm going to do the same thing for each of the studies. Uh, so, so far this, this month we're kind of working on first Thessalonians, second Thessalonians and Galatians. So I'll go ahead and prep all of those and put them in so you can see what it looks like. All right, so now I can show you my Bible study section since I prepped it all or show, to show you. Okay, so this is my Bible study section and this is what it looks like. So in the inside, each of the sections have this kind of cover to keep the cover nice, but also to have it poke out a little bit so I can see where all my studies start, all my different studies start. And then when I turn, I have 
the sections for the study. And this one, again, is First Thessalonians. Um, if you've never seen a Faith Mom Bible Study Pack, it gives you a breakdown about the book. Um, and then it also gives you a breakdown of days. We do a chapter a day. Um, and then it has, you know, uh, space for notes. And it has a devotional with reflection question um, in there as well. And it goes through every single chapter. And with Faith Mamas, I just want to let you know that the notes page is always first before the devotional because um, it's encouraged that you read the chapter first and get your own take based on what God is showing you. Um, and then you can read the devotional that could possibly add a little bit more or push you a little bit deeper um, or give you a whole nother perspective altogether. So that's how the Faith Mama studies work. But I have all of the, the next three that we're currently doing uh, in this month of November 2020. And so they're all here. My printer did some weird things, but they're all here. And then I have Galatians as well. And so it's all ready. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take these tabs. Um, I think I'm going to use pink. Yeah, I, I got some of these tabs and I like to put them on the edge so that I can tell which one is which. Now, granted, you don't need these, but I just kind of like using them. All right, so here are my Bible study binder tabs. Um, so this is 1 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians, and Galatians. Um, so I can easily flip to them so that when my um, binder is closed and all the other sections are on top of it, um, I can still easily go to um, my Bible study and know which book I'm on um, and which ones I'm going to. All right, so next up is to put my front supply pouch in. So if you're anything like me, I like to have all my supplies, my highlighters, my pens, post-it notes, all the things I think I'm going to need for a study. I like to have them in the same spot um, so that when I pick up my binder, I have everything I need. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything in my binder pouch. And what I do when I'm studying actually is that I, when I sit down to study, I take this pouch out um, and then I set it down somewhere. Uh, so that it doesn't mess up what I'm writing um, and so that I have easy access to all the supplies. But I like to keep it in the binder because it helps me to make sure that I have everything I need. All right, so I'm going to put, go ahead and put everything inside this pouch. All right, my pouch is ready. You might be wondering what's in here. So I do have my Bible study uh, bookmark, just in case I needed to bookmark a page. I have highlighters in here, pens. I have some washi tape because I like things to be pretty and sparkly sometimes. Um, I have index cards, uh, especially used for when I am doing some scripture memory verses. I use my index cards and I put the memory verse right here inside the clear pouch so that I can um, use it for memory. And then also I have my post-it notes. So this is all the stuff that I typically use during my Bible study time and I wanna keep it all inside my binder. So here it goes. And now I'm just gonna slide it in to the front of the binder, like so. All right, there we go. And I wanna show you one more thing, how I set up the prayer request uh, or the prayer uh, part of my binder. I literally just use notebook paper and I put prayer requests here and then the date and then the answer. Usually I put the date of the answer and what the answer was. Um, and so whether it was the fulfillment of the prayer request or whether God gave me some more clarity on something I was um, seeking him on. And so I put the prayer request, the date and the answer here. And then in the gratitude section, what I just do is I put, I'm grateful for and then I write and then I put the date. The reason that I date it is so that I can go back and see how cons how God consistently showed up and was in my life and was doing amazing things um, each and every day. And so that's really important because so there are some days where they're just really hard days. And you have to remind yourself that uh, no matter how hard it is, God is constantly there. Okay, so that's my prayer binder, guys. Let's take a look at it. So I take it one step further and I put it all in a basket 
And the reason that I do this is so that when that time comes early in the morning and I'm fumbling all over myself, trying to get to coffee and all that stuff, I want to know where all my things are so I don't have to run around the house looking for them. So I put my Bible in here and then I also put my binder in here all ready to go. And I try to keep the same binder at least for six months. So you may notice that my binder is kind of big. And the reason it's so big is because I like to keep it for as long as I can, all my notes in the same place. You might not be like that. You might want a smaller binder and that's perfectly cool, but I just wanted to show you what I do and you can feel free to modify it however is necessary. So what'd you guys think of the Bible study binder? I'm so excited to get to use this. Um, I love the binder system to keep my notes. I'm one of those people that likes to go back over my notes and look at some of the things that God has said or revealed. And the a great way to do that is through the binder method. So. I hope that you give it a try. Um, try to put all your things in a binder and keep them. One thing, one person that really inspires me is my cousin Dee. She literally keeps everything that God has said in a binder. And so it's easy for her to go back and to look at them. And so um, I've been keeping binders, but sometimes I'm not as organized as I would like to be and I jump all around and my notes are all in different spots. So for the next six months, I'm definitely working on keeping everything in one spot. And this Bible study binder is going to really help me. So I hope that it helps you as well. And a really cool thing that I've noticed about Bible study binders is that you can look back and see how much you've learned over the year. And so I'm just excited, guys. So I hope that you um, this helps you or inspires you on how you can put together your own Bible study binder. And I would love to see them. If you are not already, please join the Faith Mamas Facebook group and then drop your picture of your Bible study binder because I would like so love to see them and see what yours looks like. All right. I hope this video inspired you, encouraged you in some way um, and helped you to set up your very own binder. And I will see you in the next video.